So they had a new session this year called Clinical Controversies, where we discussed as a panel various controversies that are facing us in the treatment of breast cancer. And the one that I was attending to was the challenge of treating patients with triple negative breast cancer, early stage disease, and the impact of Keno 522 becoming a standard of care, um, and how we reconcile all the other data sets um, with the Keynote 522 data. So the Keynote 522 study, just as a reminder, um, co-administration of pembrolizumab in the neoadjuvant setting with four different cytotoxic agents, and then afterward in the adjuvant setting to complete a year, and that became uh, the standard of care based on a three-year event-free survival advantage of 7.7%, so an almost 8% improvement in cure rate as early as three years. The challenge has been in understanding best practice, particularly for patients who do not achieve a pathologic complete response. Uh, so those patients seem to derive the most benefit from pembrolizumab access, so more than 10%. Um, but what wasn't permitted on the Keynote 522 experience was co-administration of other uh, drugs that had been really standard of care, like capecitabine and elaparib. So we talked about the CREATE-X data, which led to the standard of care, adjuvant capecitabine administration, um, and subsequent meta-analyses showing an overall survival advantage, um, and talked about how we reconciled that with the pembrolizumab data. We talked about the metastatic setting and how capecitabine and pembrolizumab had been co-administered in that setting without any unexpected safety signals. Um, and so my practice has been to co-administer both drugs in that very high risk population. And then Dr. Domchek talked about the Olympia study that lent to standard of care uh, adjuvant elaparib, so PARP inhibitor administration for high-risk patients with germline BRCA-associated tumors. We also have data from the metastatic setting showing that those drugs can be co-administered safely with pembrolizumab, and so that has been a practice that we've adopted in that setting.